Welcome to the Salty Strikes Fishing Channel. I'm Chris, and that's Lily over there chasing birds, and Lacey's over here. It's just the three of us today. But I got something special for you today. We are um, testing out a new salt donkey jig. I know I just did a video recently about the salt donkey jig, um, sheep's head jig, and it, it, it performed pretty well. It was a little cold out, uh, but we still got out and caught some sheep's head. But here's the thing, is uh, the owner uh, makes a, makes them uh, co got in contact with me, you know, after you saw the video and said, hey, you know, how'd you like them? And um, do you have any feedback for me and stuff? And I was like, uh, well, yeah, like they, they work really well. And, you know, they're very comparable to the, you know, bottom sweeper jigs and other ones that I've, I've seen and used. And, um, but I'm like, I, I wish I had one that was in half ounce that was just a little smaller hook. And he's like, well, hold on a second. And uh, next thing you know, a um, week or two later, I get a package in the mail and he gave me a bunch of she um, salt donkey uh, sheep's head jigs with just a slightly smaller hook. So we're trying those out today and I think you'll enjoy it. I think you'll be surprised. So stick around and check that out. I gotta tell you though, I am kind of excited to try out these uh, salt donkey jigs that uh, they custom made. Uh, you know, he didn't charge me for them, he just gave me to try out. You know, he asked me some, for some feedback and I was like, you know, maybe just a little bit smaller hook just so the, you know, the sand flea will kind of cover that point a little bit more. And, um, you know, we'll see how they, they work out. But uh, I have a feeling they're gonna do well, but you know, just stick around and we'll, we'll find out. Oh, here we go, puppies. Hold on. Whoa. Hopefully you can see that. I just asked for a slightly smaller... Uh, this is the bottom sweeper jig. This is the salt donkey jig with a little smaller hook. And um, we'll just... We'll see how they... Uh, how that works out today. Hopefully well. Uh, I think we're just gonna uh, stay here. Sorry. I think we're just gonna uh, stay here at the jetties this morning. I don't know. It looks pretty calm and nice out there. Uh, we may head, head head offshore later, but uh, I really want to give these a, a good shot around the the jetties first and uh, see how they do. So the tide's moving a little faster than uh, I would like right now, but uh, it's supposed to be slowing down here pretty soon. Oh man, here comes another boat. Hold on, puppies. But see how the that hook doesn't protrude as much. I'm hoping that'll help hide that, and when they go to bite on it, it'll you know increase the hookups. So we'll see. It's going down. Well, they're down there, all right. That's definitely a sheep's head bite. Send another one down. Oh man, freaking something down there is just nibbling away. I don't know if it's a small sheep's head or a small mangrove or something, but I won't get him. Give me a minute. <laughs> He's decent. He's a nice little sheep. Now that's a good one. That's a keeper for sure. No, go potty out there. It's just what we're looking for. And this guy is 15 and a half inch sheep said. That's exactly what we came here for. I can get a couple more of these guys. Well, we're getting some inconsistent bites here, so um, we're gonna swing around to the other side of the jetties and see if uh, it's not a, little, not a little more productive over there. It is a little wavier over there, but hopefully maybe the fish are there too. Got one, got one, another, another nice sheep's head, another keeper. Definitely a keeper. Uh-oh. 
Come on, I oh, mean, this thing buried itself in there. Let go, buddy. I think I might have bent that hook a little bit, but he is. Another 15 inch sheep's head. Oh, just what we're looking for today. I'll keep, I'll keep 15 inch sheep's head all day long. I'm perfect. There we go, got another one. Another good one. Uh, he, he'll probably keep. Getting up. 13 and a half. He'll go in the box too. Oh man. Uh. Like if you're sheep's head fishing and you're not getting bites, just move on. You know, just like, you know, if they're not coming to you, go find them. So far, these, uh, Salt donkey, uh, you know, slightly adjusted uh, salt donkey jigs are working pretty good. Um, getting a pretty good hookup ratio. I'm not really keeping track, but um, I'm not losing a ton of of uh, sand fleas while I'm. But. Got him. Oh man. Uh, man, my anti reverse on this thing's been going out a couple times. Oh, that's sketchy. Uh, maybe time for a new one. I love these Pin Pursuit 3s, but something's wrong with this 4000. I've, that's like the, I was out here with Jetty Rocks Oars. No, where was I? Yeah. And uh, my inner reverse gave out on me. I got like a 16 inch sheep's head. And I let go of the reel. Uh oh, something's blowing up over here. Got him, got him. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, yeah. Oh, another good one. Oh man, I barely had him in the lip there. Let's measure this one out. This one's, uh, he's, he's about, I was about 15 inch sheep's head. Sweet. This, that is what I like to see. I'm like, we really want to kind of load up on some sheep's head, so I really wouldn't mind limiting it out today. There we go, got him. Got him, oh man, he's a good one. Oh, I got him good too. That's a good size one right there too. Oh man, that's nice sheep's head. Holy crap, that one is 16 and a half. 16 and a half sheep, sheep's head. He's a fat sucker too, man. Perfect. Oh man. Love to see those suckers. Try to get a couple more of them. Definitely gonna have to take a look at this reel though. That anti reverse is uh, maybe causing me some headaches here. That's the first real problem I've ever had with one of these uh, Pin Pursuit 3s. Got another one, there we go. Got another one. Another decent. Here we go. 
Come in. Found him. Sometimes you just gotta look a little while. Man, let go, buddy. And he is oh, about 14 and a half. So we'll keep him too. And it just picked up all of a sudden. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. Two more and that's all we're, that's it for us. Salt donkey chick getting it done today. It's the same one I've had all morning. Haven't lost it yet. <laughs> Which is kind of surprising for me. Cause usually I get stuck on stuff. Sometimes when you find it, there's some other stuff blowing up over here. I think there might be mackerel or something. If I limit on the sheep's head, I might go throw some a bucktail out there or something. Look at another one. Man, they're just loaded down here. Oh, crap. I, I'm about to bleep that out. <laughs> Got me right in the hand. There we go. We'll go out. And he is another 15 and a half inch, 15 and a half inch sheep's head. Oh man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, one more. One more. You know what I am, I'm just gonna... I don't wanna miss this opportunity, I've almost limited out, so... I've got plenty of... There we go. <laughs> uh, I got a blue. Maybe there's more mackerel. Though. There's a blue fish. Lay the blues. <laughs> ah. Yeah, if those are mackerel. I'll, I'll keep going, but I'll be all right without some blue fish for a little while. What I really need is to finish up. My sheep's head fishing here. Hope it's not little ones. Hope I didn't lose my opportunity to get that last one when I was screwing around with those bluefish. And all I got here is a um, a Pin Pursuit three four thousand. Uh, ugly stick, elite, six and a half foot rod, medium heavy. And salt donkey jig on there. 20 pound braid. 20 pound leader, I think. That might be, that might be the go home fish, I don't know. Let's see how big he is. That one is uh, 13 and a half. Uh, uh, do we stop here or do we go for a bigger one? I say let's push our lucky and try for a bigger one. Maybe. There we go. The yep. Oh crap. 
My freaking anti reverse. Yeah. Oh. My anti reverse has been given out on me. Uh, is this one smaller than that last one? I think so. Yeah, he is. This is, yeah, this one's 12 and a half. But I've been hitting these 15, 16 inches and I, oh, <laughs> I'm getting picky. Well, that's the problem, a barely slot one. Yeah. The sheep said that's the only thing I don't like about them. The fillet's not fucking big. Yeah. Me. No, it's yeah. So damn big. Yeah, usually about, about 14 inches my, is my keeper limit. Yeah. I usually catch enough where I can be picky. Cause I'm here, I fish a lot. I know I've thrown back two slot size already, but I'm I'm holding out for another 15 incher. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah, that's it. There he is. That's a that's a go home fish, I think. If he gets 14. I'll keep them. There we go. Right at 14 inches. Hey, how's it going? Thank you, I appreciate it. Lots of sheep's head. One, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight. So the salt donkey jigs is doing what they say they're doing, catching sheep's head, and I didn't lose too many uh, sand fleas in the process. So I'll give kudos where it's, where it's deserved. <laughs> Oh, I don't know how long this guy's been on here. But I just I just reeled this up and <laughs> a bluefish hanging out back there. Oh man. Lily knows we're getting close to our island, so she's getting a little antsy. Come here. There you go, bud. Well guys, thanks for uh, joining me on that Salty Strikes fishing adventure. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed that. Those uh, salt donkey jigs uh, worked out pretty well, limited out. Actually, you know, I tossed a few back before I hit that limit, you know, even though those were legal fish. Um, but, you know, I kept holding out for that 50, another 15 or 16 incher, but, you know, Sometimes you, you, you can't press your luck too much. And, um, but they worked really well. I didn't lose uh, too many um, sand fleas as I usually do with the, with the little bit bigger hooks. So um, I, you know, I, I'm not sponsored by Salt Donkey. Um, I'm gonna tell you how it is. He did give those to me for free. Uh, so uh, just to be honest, um, but like, you know, I'm not, it's not, I'm not paid to say they're well, or, you know, I don't have any kind of, you know, contract or anything with them, but you know, I'm. So I'm just trying to give my honest opinion about these things. And you know, I'm not exclusive. I probably won't just fish salt donkey jigs. I'll probably will sleep, fish bottom sweeper jigs too. And you know, whatever is working and whatever I have at the moment, you know. So, uh, but they do work well. I really like them. And um, you know, I, and I like them well enough. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below uh, where you can get those if you want some. And I, I don't know if he's gonna put those into production or not. After seeing this video and my feedback, he might. Um, but apparently I'm the only one with those uh, smaller hooks, uh, 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 salt donkey jigs right now. So um, he may be making more, I don't know. But uh, uh, if I find out, I'll let you guys know. So, um, and then I'll link it below, or you can contact him, you know, on Instagram or Facebook. Um, I'm sure you can probably just Google salt donkey jigs and they'll pop up. And then before you know it, it was like 
9 30 in the morning i was already done limited out um you know we were coming up we i probably started fishing about seven right after sun up and two and a half hours later i was finished that's the way a day should go sometimes you know it's really nice anyway uh thanks for joining me uh, i'm glad you guys are here you know thumbs up are always appreciated you know if you haven't subscribed um you know hit that subscribe button if you want to see our content and hit that notification bell if you uh if you want youtube to notify you let you know when we got new stuff coming out we you know we got stuff coming out every week sometimes twice a week so um stick around and check it out hope you guys enjoy um love having you guys with me uh, i'll see you next time bye come on Lily. let's go Go get Sissy, go get Sissy. Go oh, get back, there's no jellyfish. There's all the cannonball jellyfish, holy crap. Eat it. <laughs>